Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending of February 18th. First off, I would like to talk about a story. They're trying to make the story political, but I'm just going to talk about the science aspect of it. Russia spy ship located in, near U.S. naval base in Virginia. One of the latest headlines said it was near Connecticut, which it probably is. I mean, it's traveling up and down the East Coast in international waters, by the way. So, um, yeah, it's called the Victor Leonov, known as an AGI, Auxiliary General Intelligence. It's, it's a spy ship, uh, just like the spy ships we have in the Black Sea to spy on Russia. Um, they talked about the fact that some of the Russian um, aircraft came over and buzzed our ships over there. Uh, they do the same exact thing we do. And uh, although in the middle of the article they try to talk about this alarming behavior, this is nothing new at all. And if you actually read down in the CBS article, which I'll give you the link to, um, that talks about the ship and stuff like that and get over the um, panic drama type of stuff, uh, this ship has actually done the same thing in 2014 and it's done it again in 2015. It leaves Cuba, goes up the East Coast, and it actually does monitoring of uh, any transmission that comes out, whether it be radar, radio, anything like that. But um, like they say at the end of this article, we're well aware that the ship is there listening, so obviously we're not going to send out any kind of transmissions that would be anything that would compromise us. And besides that fact, you've got to realize the Russians have an embassy, the UN, is actually in New York. The Russians have an embassy there right in New York City, uh, besides consulates and other various places. Those things are actually full of antennas and radio equipment and things like that. I mean, a lot of intelligence gathering is no more than just uh, listening to scanners and listening to uh, regular radio frequencies on AM and FM dial, just like we do too. Plus, obviously, they try to intercept military commit. Uh, uh, military transmissions and any other type of transmissions that they can possibly learn anything from. No different than the exact thing, same thing that we do ourselves. Every single country spies on every other single country. So, no, this is nothing to be alarmed about. And I've checked other various sources, too, to see if there's anything out of the unusual that this ship is doing that hasn't been done in the past, even years and years ago. And I see zero evidence that there's anything to panic over. This is just a drama headline. So... I wouldn't even worry about it. And next up, this is from my friend Zeke M. He sent me the video of this, and I'll play a little bit of the video as I'm talking about it. But this is the AGIC Circuit Maker, and it's kind of cool. They don't really tell you so much in the um, video here from YouTube where they're playing it, but it's kind of neat how you can take different electronic components, in this case, um, little LED elements, and then connect them together with this magic marker, which is conductive and connected to a power source, and these lights light up. What I would really like to, to use something like this for would be to connect the little integrated circuit chips especially like ICs, uh, like 555 timers and stuff like that. Now, this is not really something you want to use to carry a lot of amperage. They recommend somewhere in the nature of maybe uh, 100 milliamps. They said if you draw the lines wide enough, you could possibly carry an amp or more, but they don't really recommend it. And if you look on Amazon, they're running it for $39. Now, one of the little tricks is you still have to use special paper. It's an A6 size paper, which is approximately 4 inches by 6 inches, not really super large. But they give you four sheets of paper and the marker for 39 bucks. Not too bad for doing little test circuits and things like that. And then if you buy the, ba the paper in bulk in uh, packs of 10, it's about a buck each for that. You can get 10 sheets for uh, for $10. And it's still like it's the A6 size. It's not, it's not a, a full sheet like a notebook paper or something like that. So just to let you know. And last up, and I'm not going to get into politics with this, even though they use this in the headline. It really has very little to do with Trump, but the title is Trump and the Grand Plan to Revisit the Moon. It's about NASA's future plans um, to develop a U.S. space program that involves a rapid and large-scale economic development of space. And they're talking about the fact of, well, I'll just read here. Robert Lightfoot, NASA's acting administrator, issued a statement on Wednesday saying he's been talking to top NASA officials about the possibility of adding astronauts to the exploration mission EM-1 flight. The current plans for the EM-1 flight is to send an uncrewed Orion spacecraft to orbit the moon using the world's most powerful exploration rocket, the Space Launch System, for the first time. The new announcement suggests adding astronauts to this test flight by late 2018. So they're talking about astronauts possibly um, circling and maybe even going back to landing on the moon. It's like if we do not take this cause up again and do it, the Chinese are definitely going to do it and probably get ahead of us in technology because before we even decide to explore Mars, 
I would like to see, you know, us develop the technology to go back to be capable of visiting the moon too. Not for the idea of making that the end game. I certainly don't want the moon to be the end game like it was last time. Uh, my father helped to work on the NASA project too, and he was rather disappointed because the original idea was to build on um, going to the moon and then send astronauts to Mars. So I would like to see this be our first step in possibly going to Mars and extending ourselves. You know, it was uh, it's it's a difficult task, and Mars is very far away. But you know, the first time we went to the moon, we had no experience with it whatsoever. We just had to do it from scratch. So it should be a little bit easier and quicker to do this time. And, and yeah, if we can put some some uh, information together so we can make it to Mars, all the better. So anyway, that's about it for this week. Thanks everybody that um, helped to make this report possible. Everybody for sharing the materials and everything. I appreciate it. Take care, and I will catch you next week.